Tony, I come from Barnsley, and uh, I'm a personal trainer at the Rio Institute of Obesity. Yeah. Dealing with people being referred by the doctors. Uh, when I first met with a personal trainer was about five years ago now. Uh, I was having really serious uh, health issues. Uh, before Christmas of 2012, I had a stroke in Meadow Hall while shopping, and then they found out I had a tumour in my heart, which was removed in uh, March 2013. Now I did some cardio rehab with some personal trainers, and uh, it was quite frustrating because then the day, because I'm quite young ish, and lots of people there were in the 70s and 80s, I was trying to do more than I could. My resting heart rate was about 110. So I had to keep it down to 125, but I was just pushing and pushing myself and always being told off, stop doing that. So once I completed that, I decided to go all the way to the opposite end of the spectrum and do the insanity hit training. And from there, I contacted a friend who was a personal trainer. And obviously I was quite influenced by him, as I was when I was younger, when we were in the Air Force together. And lo and behold, let's have a change of career. Okay, so this is the Rotherham Institute of Obesity Gym. Basically, we get uh, patients who have been referred, have a BMI, particularly or pro probably over 30. Uh, they come in here for some exercise therapy. Uh, it's basically uh, around the uh, CV stuff. We do some upper body stuff and things like that. I try to vary as much as I can, keep people interested. I have people of all sorts of ages doing some crazy stuff. Uh, the other week I had some ladies who were in the 70s uh, doing some CV and they came up and said, what are we going to do now? So for 10 minutes we're going to play softball. So I had a little softball and they were hitting the ball with a, a, um, a pad from boxing. And by the end, it was just so much fun. We must have burned off 200 calories just laughing. Yeah, the best part of being a personal trainer, I guess, is the, you just, your, your uh, interaction with people. You get all sorts of people coming here, young or whatever. Fantastic conversation. They've all got different needs. And it's just a great career to be able to have that interaction with people. Uh, I think I would try and uh, get, as, uh, get as many kind of views around like, people training people. I mean, there's some people who may have fantastic methodology. Some people are fantastic people persons mm -hmm. and uh, try to get a, a view from everybody. We all have different uh, strengths and weaknesses we, we bring to the game, don't we? Mm -hmm. I say some people are fantastic at uh, the study mm -hmm. uh, and some people are great at the practical. And other people, it's just about the personality. Nobody will want you as their personal trainer if they can't get on with you. That's the main thing, be able to get on with you, be able to get that rapport, trust in you mm -hmm. and be able to keep them going places. You can have somebody who looks fantastic you know, on paper, looks fantastic in front of you, but at the end of the day, if you can't build that report and they don't listen to what you're saying and don't feel confident in you, the game is lost before it started.